have you ever felt lost? Didn't know what steps to take? Didn't know how your life was going to go? Well, today's going to help you because what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk to you about how to create a vision for your life. Now, this could be business vision. This could be your life vision. And tell you the truth, the activity I have for you is going to take on five different things and you can add more to them. See, when I first started out in my business, I was always told to write down my why. You know, write down your why until you cry. And I never knew what that really meant. Right? And I did write my why down, and I have a great activity for that I'm going to share with you too. But it, what my why did, it really got me started. It didn't really get me going anywhere, if that makes sense. So then I, I've always been a, a goal person. I played college basketball, and I always had goals. You know, where was I going to get next? How was I going to get in more shape? How much weight was I going to be able to lift? You know, how was my ball handling? I worked on these daily. I had little goals, and I'd write them on a list, and I'd check them off. And So when I started my business, I started doing that. I wrote down my why. I wrote down my goals. And I proceeded to go to work to build my business. But I had something was missing for me. It really was. And then I started working with the gentleman, right? It's coaches have coaches. And he made me write down my vision. And I was intrigued at first because I, I totally believe it. I just never really wrote one down. But here's what happens. See, when you're doing goals, they kind of push you. Your why kind of pushes you to get started. But your vision pulls you. It keeps bringing you to where you want to go. And I hope that makes sense because it, it really does. And some people say a vision is kind of in woo-woo land or maybe it's too gaudy for them. Or, But to tell you the truth, that, that really is. I started looking at my life through a lot of different things. So I want to help you write down your vision. And again, I have a great activity for you to go through. It's going to be just an unbelievable journey for you. And I can help you out. So here's what you do. First thing is you have to get yourself to a quiet place. Doesn't matter where it is. Could be in your house. Could be in the woods. Could be in your favorite reading chair. Could be in your car wherever you can get quiet. And I'm real serious about that. Now, where I did mine, I love being on the lake. So I took a quiet morning, took a cup of coffee, and I took my journal out and went on the lake. Shut the motor off, closed my eyes, and I just started thinking. And there's some areas that what I wanted to do was to write a vision down for. Of course, the first one, because I was in business, I wanted to do it for business. So what I did, I sat down and said, okay, where did I want my business to be in the next 90 days? So I want you to answer this. Where do you want, if you have a business, where do you want it to be in 90 days? You know how much money you want to be making? Are you building a business to have team members? How many team members do you want? Building a coaching industry? Coaching business? How many people are you coaching? Write it all down. And then think, well, where do I want to be in one year? How much money do you want to be making? And reverse think that. When you think of how much money do you want to be making, let's say it's a coaching business. How many people do you need in your program to be making that kind of money? Reverse engineer it because it kind of gives you a place where you need to go. How about five years? That's all 
thoughts you got to do. The next one that was crucial to me was that at that time I was really struggling. Family was struggling financially. So I started thinking, I, I, I sat down, I actually did this exercise that was given to me. How much money did I want to be making annually? And you know, the normal response when I ask people this, it's usually ten, $100,000, which is not quite 10K a month. But do you know what I wanted to do? I wanted my annual income to be my monthly income. That was huge. What kind of home do you live in? Do you want a bigger home? Want a smaller home? I'm coming to you from an RV, I call it an RV. My wife and I live in a lake in Tennessee, where the lake is like 30 feet from our front door. This is, instead of an RV, it is a park trailer. It means it's winterized, so we're here all the time. Now, some people, that's not their dream. That was our dream. That's what we wanted to do. So when you look at your vision, what does your home look like? Where are you living? By a lake? In the mountains? What kind of car do you drive? Is it brand new? Can you smell that fresh leather? Is it an RV? Is it a travel van? Is it a sports car? See, in this activity, this is what you're gonna be answering for every question, please. Now, the next one, what do you do for recreation? And that's not important to some people, but what do you do in your free time? Right. One of mine is, I love to be on the pontoon. To some health challenges, I, I don't have extremely good balance. So I used to be a golfer, but now if I golf, like halfway through my swing, I'll topple over. Uh, I definitely have friends laugh at me. And I do go golfing because it's, it's kind of funny. But do you like to travel? Where are you going to go travel? If you're in the United States, you're going to go overseas? going to go to Italy? Gonna go to the Grand Canyon? Gonna go to Utah? I don't know. I want you to think about all that stuff. Visualize it, get quiet, internalize it, and visualize it. The next one's working with your health. I'm gonna ask you this, what are you doing to stay healthy? I had a scare. My wife and I were riding bikes, and we do like to ride bikes. And one day I tell you, I just did not feel comfortable on my bike seat. And I thought, what the heck is going on? So I went to my family doctor and the next thing within two weeks, I seen a specialist and I had colon cancer. The blessing is they caught it. And it made me change some lifestyle habits. One, I was, I was letting stress really get to me. And I eliminated that stress. I changed some eating habits. I loved wine. I changed those habits. I tried to get fit the best way I could. So how do you stay fit? Are you an exerciser? Are you a walker? See, I, here's what I do every morning. I get up, I write my journal, I get quiet. And I go for at least a two mile hike. Now that might not seem like a lot, but I probably do it twice during the day. So I walk about five miles a day. What do you do? That's the question for you. And the next one, and the last one that we're gonna talk about is relationships. Very important. What is your relationship with your family? I have two kids and they're both on their own. They both just got married and sometimes that's a challenge because they're trying to become independent, right? And I'm trying to hold on. <laughs> but we've, we've found a middle ground for that. How about friends? Do you have a lot of friends? They're all very important. What type of romantic relationship are you in? Those are the questions you're gonna answer. See, here's the key to this, to write down a vision. Again, you need to get in a quiet spot and then write down the answers to these questions. Start visualizing your life. If you had a perfect life, where would you be? What would it look like? 
in one year's time, what would it look like? In five years' time, what would it look like? I guarantee if you do this exercise, when you do this exercise, it's going to help you a ton. Y'all take care. Hey, if you got any value from this, I put a link down below in the description. One is where you can get this worksheet. It's just an easy worksheet for you to follow. It'll, I guarantee it'll help you. Two, if you got any value, could you please share this with your friends? Give me a like, subscribe. Hit that little bell so you get my notifications. I have great content coming up. And the third one is I have a coaching program. And I know I can help you get where you need to go. And I'll put a link down there for that. So, very thankful you're here. See you on the next video.